for Fixation, and this is our European premiere. We premiered at Toronto International Film Festival, but we're very excited to be here for the festival. Yeah, so the movie is very, very intense, <laughs> and our actors had to go through it a lot. And we first cast Maddie Hassan. When I saw her tape, I got goosebumps, and all of us looked at each other, and we had you know, tears running down our faces and that's how we knew that she was the one. And I think that it just takes a lot of trust and respect in creating a space with that between actors and Maddie really had to go through it every day. You know, she's, she cries many, many times and through the movie and so I think that for that it was just making sure that she had what she needed at any point and creating that bond between us to be able to do that. Yeah, so we, we shot during the peak of COVID, so this was pre-vaccine, and so we bubbled our entire crew, and we basically all lived together, all 100 of us in the hotel, and then we went to this six-story abandoned hospital, which we also built sets into it to make the hospital. And so it was really wild because we did things like flood out an entire floor to make it into a lake, and so it kind of felt like we were living the movie as we were going through it. And so we don't see the sun all day long, and so we go into these dark spaces and really connected the sets as though they're a maze, and so we were able to build it from the ground up. I love horror movies because I like to feel uncomfortable, and so what's interesting about our movie in particular is there isn't anything supernatural going. What's more disturbing is the people and what they're going through, and for me, I almost feel a happiness and comfort in going into disturbing things. I know that sometimes people like to avoid them and that makes them feel better. For me, I like to connect with people over us being able to talk about it. And what's been really great about this movie too is I've had lots of people come up to me afterwards and say, thank you so much. I've had experiences that have been similar and it's just really great to be able to see this. And for me, that's the most beautiful gift and that's why we made the movie. That's a great question. I definitely feel that throughout the history of film, right now is an amazing time to be a director, and I'm really grateful for everyone who came before me. And it's funny because it's better now than ever, but I still have sometimes on sets, because I do a lot of commercial work too, where I look around and there aren't any other women except for the makeup artist. And what's also interesting is whenever people meet me and I say I work in film and they go, oh great, are you an actress? And they go, no, I'm not an actress. And they go, are you a makeup artist? And I go, no, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm a director. And it's just funny because we have more than 100 different roles that you could be on set, but the fact that everyone assumes that tells me that there just aren't enough women directors yet. The day that someone just stops assuming that I'm a different role other than that without asking, because I could even be a, a gaffer or an editor, then we'll know that we have enough. <laughs> So I actually have another movie uh, that is coming out next year on AMC Shutter, and they were both greenlit on the same day, so that's why we had two features back to back. And so that's also a horror psychological thriller, and so that'll be coming out next year. And then the next project I'm doing after that, I wrote with Katrina Kudlick, who's also the producer, and we just had some exciting cast attached. I can't say who yet, but we will be shooting that next year. Okay, looking forward to that. Thank you. Okay.